Hey guys, it's Lisa and welcome to my channel. Uh, today we're going to be trying something that my sister Tammy uh, saw on Pinterest and uh, we've been wanting to try it so we're just going to uh, try it on camera today. So uh, she saw where they took some uh, silk flowers and dipped them in uh in plaster and kind of made plaster uh, flowers so we're very curious uh, because they looked really pretty and we want to see if we can duplicate that so um, the uh, recipe or the the directions rather called for uh, mixing plaster of paris with water until you get the consistency of um, of, of yogurt so that's what we're doing here uh, is mixing um, plaster of paris and water until we get the consistency of yogurt and i would say that maybe we even went slightly thinner than yogurt because you're supposed to uh, dip the flowers in there and then kind of shake it off and then let them dry on wax paper and we didn't have any wax paper here, so we just decided to use foil to uh, to let these dry on. And they say that they dry very quickly, and they are right. They did dry very quickly. That part was right anyway. But um, mixing this to consistency of yogurt, for us anyway, did not work. So uh, you can see here that we just kind of dip different flowers in. And certain flowers do better than others, uh, but it says just dip it in and make sure you get it soaked under all the petals. And then uh, once you get it completely soaked, uh, then you can just lay it on your wax paper uh, to dry and uh, as it's starting to dry you just kind of go back to it and separate the the petals every now and then uh, so we did that um, and it i i wasn't happy at all neither of us were happy with how they looked because they tended to want to clump up now this daisy that i'm doing right here did okay Maybe a few of them did okay. Tammy is doing a little rosebud here, and it looked okay. Uh, but then we felt like it needed dipped again a little bit, and and in the end, we didn't even like that one. So, um, like I said, this little daisy here is seems to be doing okay. So at this point, we just dipped several flowers in it. Uh, some of these with lots of petals just really didn't want to do well at all. Uh, and then um, when you lay them down to dry, they're kind of laying in a petal of this um, plaster that uh, hardens. And it really wasn't easy to do and it made a, a horrible mess. Uh, but then after we um, did our first batch uh, and we needed to mix some more plaster, we decided to mix it a lot thinner. So um, I mixed it to where it had some consistency, but it was, uh, it was thin. And uh, that started to do better and uh, certain flowers that we found to dip in it did even better. And then eventually we found uh, a particular flower that did really good in the thinner. And we even uh, thought about once it dried, dipping it again, but uh, it kept just a little bit of its color. And so uh, we knew if we dipped it again, that little bit of color would be gone, gone and uh, we felt like that that kind of added to it, so we just didn't dip it again. 
So now I'm going to start some projects that we can embellish with those flowers. And I'm going to do a couple of book stack sets. So when I'm doing my book stacks, I like to uh, have the pages showing. Uh, I like to remove the book cover. And uh, sometimes I'll uh, paint a hardback book and do it that way. But, but for the most part, I like to take the cover off. I just like that look. And uh, because of that, uh, I just usually buy paperback books. Because paperback books, you can get them a lot cheaper usually. And, uh, and it's a lot easier to remove the cover. So, and I love the look of old pages, but I don't worry with getting old books uh, because uh, I can easily um, age those pages myself. So, um, I, just, I just look for books that uh, work in size, and usually when I'm thrifting them, I just go ahead and put the sizes together and, and buy a set uh, for those sizes. So I'm just using hot glue and gluing these together the way I want them to stack. And, um, and now I have my little set to work on. And I'm going to cover these first. And at this point, you can do anything that you want. And I love doing book stacks because you can give them so many looks. Um, and I'm going ahead here and doing a second book stack. And for this one, as you'll notice, I'm just using two books. Because for one thing, they're smaller books, but they're also thicker. And because they're as thick as they are, I feel like as small as they are, if I were to go three, it just it wouldn't look right. So I'm, I'm just using two on this one. And I'm going to start with this small set here. And uh, this is just a tissue wrap, and I, I don't know where I got this tissue wrap. I think I got it maybe at the Dollar Tree in with some other uh, colors. And uh, I know that there's no print on this, uh, but it has that aged look. And I could age this outer part of the book, uh, but if I did that, then I'd have to wait longer on it to dry. So I just felt like it was easier to go ahead and decoupage this on. And so I'm just going to cover the entire outside, uh, including the spines, with this decoupage paper. Or this tissue wrap, actually. And I don't even bother to um, measure this first. I just kind of hold it up to it and cut it. Because I'm going to be kind of uh, piecing this. Um, when I get to that spine, especially with these, uh, when I take the uh, outer layer off uh, or the outer cover off these books, I like for that spine to look really aged. And uh, when you do that, it helps if you kind of layer. And see there where I didn't get that, I kind of tore it off the, uh, the, where it should have ended on that spine. And then I just layered it over the top. That's not a problem at all. As a matter of fact, that's uh, the look that I like. Because um, if you notice, if you uh, take the, the book cover off a, um, a, an old uh, hardback book, you'll see that. It's like a layering and it almost has like a cloth look. And this just where I've kind of got pieces that I need to add. Uh, to cover it, it just gives it more of a uh, layered look, and I like that, or an aged look. And here I'm just taking some uh, torn uh, old book pages and just kind of randomly adding some here and there just to create more of a, a layered look. Now this is some paper. I thought I was ordering uh, rice paper here, but it it was called washi paper or something like that i've heard of the uh the washi tape uh but this was different and i don't know that i got rice paper um but i love this and it almost had the feel of cloth um it was just washi paper or uh, rice paper i i've understood that it's very very fragile and this is not fragile and here's that what it had on the paper 
I'm going to look up where I bought that and try to put that in the description. Uh, but I'm not sorry that I bought it because it's, it, it's really pretty. Um, there's, I think there's like maybe four sheets in it and each one has four designs on it. And I can see myself using that because it's really pretty designs. Uh, but I really don't think it's rice paper. I ordered some more rice paper that hasn't came. And I guess when that comes, I'll know if this is really rice paper or not. If either of you know what it is. Uh, let me know, but I'm just going to use it for decoupage. It was, it is definitely for decoupage. I just don't think it's rice paper. Now, because I'm going to be adding uh, some flowers that look like dogwoods here, I thought it was just a good place, or actually my sister, it was her idea to put some scripture on this one. And, um, and um, now I'm just adding some, um, some watered down, uh, paint in the color pine cone and just aging these book pages now I'll just have to go back over if it's not dark enough uh, until I get it as dark as I want it and um, I'm noticing here in the back that I didn't get it real uh, that I didn't get it aged right there in the back and but I do go back over that and age that back part also because that will be showing so here I've just taken some torn fabric, and this is just a, a tea towel that I have coffee stained, and I ripped a little strip and tied that around, and I didn't worry with the bow uh, because I want this to have a primitive tattered look. So uh, I kind of made that short and didn't put a bow on it. And now I'm just going to glue uh, that little, what looks like a dogwood to me, uh, the flower didn't start out looking at all like a dogwood until I dipped it. And then this is just some little sprigs of greenery that we also dipped. And I'm really loving the look of this. It keeps it really neutral. Uh, like I said, I am covering up some of that beautiful design on the front. Uh, but I still really like how the, this little book turns out or this little book stack turns out. And I like that it's small enough that it could be used on a, on a, some tray decor or maybe even some tiered trays it would fit in. But uh, like I said, I really like how that one turned out. And now the next one that we'll do is uh, the one that has just the two, or, or the three books rather. Um, so um, again, I'm just taking the book covers off these. And then I'll just glue them together like I did the others. And once I get these glued together, then just like I started the other one, I'm going to uh, decoupage some of that uh, tissue wrap over the outside. I think tissue wrap is one of the easiest things to decoupage with. Um, I really like the look of the napkins, but it's easy to tear those when you're decoupaging with them. And this uh, tissue wrap is, is very easy and it, it's not bad to uh, tear when you're decoupaging. So I'm going to give this uh, stack this pretty much the same look as the other, but I'm going to change it up just a little bit. And so here I am, I'm doing this spine in one piece, and then I'll just go through and cut those, uh, cut those books apart. And I do go back over this and trim it, and then uh, once it dries well, I, t I just take some fine grit uh, sandpaper and kind of sand the edges to neaten those up. And here I am tearing some more of those book pages and just randomly placing those. And now there is my other uh, piece of decoupage paper. And uh, I really love the look of these. Now on this one, when I age this one, I mix my paint just a little bit too strong. And um, so there is a, an example of why you need to, I watered it down here before I got to these other sides. But there's an example of, uh, it's just easier to do, uh, more coats then you can't take it off once you put it on there so um, I don't mind because it just makes this set look just a little bit more aged uh, but I would rather have it a little less aged 
So here I'm just uh, wrapping this a couple of times and tying a bow uh, with some old lace. And uh, this lace had even some staining on it. And so it was perfect for this. Uh, if it hadn't had a little bit of staining on it, I might would have even uh, coffee stained it. But I like the look of this one. And it would be pretty just like this with the bows. Uh, I mean with the bow. Uh, but I don't want to overdress this one. So all I'm going to do is add a couple of sprigs of that uh, greenery that we dipped. And, and then this one will be finished. If you haven't tried making book stacks, you really should try them because, uh, and if you don't like this age to look or the um, or more of a uh, shabby chic look, I guess this has, um, then you don't have to do it this way. You could make them uh, more farmhouse looking or even more traditional. Uh, but you just, you can do so many things with these little book stacks and they make a really good addition to, uh, to your table vignette. And now I'm just taking this little, uh, picture frame because it, I'm going to add a flower to it also. And this is just one that, um, I don't know if I got this. I think I got this one given to me, maybe by my mother. Uh, but I'm putting um, one coat of the color drop cloth on this. That's a Dixie Belle color, and one cover, uh, one coat covers this well. And then, um, so where I took that um, glass out, um, what I did was take it outside and spray paint one side of it white. And I left the other just the glass, uh, and I painted only one side of it. And I'll show you why I did that here in a little bit. Uh, but now I've cut out just a little strip of tea towel to add here to the bottom of this uh, because I want to add some layering to this also. I want to give it kind of the same look. So uh, now I am taking a piece of aged lace and gluing to that and now I can add my floral to this and I'm just here just adding a sprig a couple of sprigs of the greenery and then one of these flowers and I think uh, once I add another little uh, piece of lace here my sister suggested that to bring that white down which I thought was a great idea and uh, so now that one is complete, except that we're going to put that glass back in. And as you can see here, I've painted the back side only. So this front is just glass. So that allows me to stamp some scripture on there. And then if I decide I want to change the message on it, then I just take some alcohol and wipe that off and then put something else on it. So it makes a little message board, and I really like how that turned out. And I love just the neutral look uh, of all of these projects because uh, if you watch me long, you know that neutrals are my thing. I love neutrals and I love uh, things that are old or, or look old. Um, I just love that look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great evening and God bless you and your family.